Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 104 of my Legion United career mode. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be playing the first game of the season, trying out some of our new signings, and we're also going to be continuing on with the summer transfer window as well, trying to sign Ian Taylor, uh, who we put in a bid for in the last episode, and uh, who has been suggested may well be Steven Gerrard's regen, and I probably agree with that, to be honest. He's from the MLS English midfielder. Could easily be Frank Lampard as well, but um, you know you never know really. It's difficult to tell exactly, uh, but it appears like we might be signing Gerard's regen in this episode, which would be really good. 20 years old, 77 overall. So um, this is the team I'm going to be playing with for the match, the opening day of the season. Uh, the game is against Liverpool. It's an away match. It's a very strong team, this one, as you can see. It's probably the team you'd expect, to be honest. Aguero's first match, Lucas's first match, and um, so it's going to be a really interesting one. Looking forward to it. Uh, very strong defence, very strong bench as well. Uh, Mane misses out, Cook misses out because he's got that deal uh, as part of the Ian Taylor uh, deal, which may well go through uh, after this game. So that's the bench I've gone with. There's a couple of big names there that miss out. Eric Dyer is no longer in the starting eleven. We'll see how that goes for this game. But before we get into the match, if we could go ahead and hit 20 likes on this video, that'd be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. We have, I think, about 40 subs away from 4,000. So let me know in the comments also what you'd like me to do at 4,000 subscribers. I suspect it'll be a Q&A uh, and maybe even like a gaming setup video, but you may as well let me know any other suggestions in the comments below, and uh, that'll be really appreciated. And yeah, let's crack on with the game against Liverpool. Tough match to open the season on, uh, but let's see how we get on. Here we go, we will kick off this new season here, Aguero, our new number 10, or at least that's his number anyway, he's not quite playing in behind the striker, he is up there, uh, supported by the two centre attacking mids, he starts, really looking forward to seeing what he brings to this team, high expectations obviously, but even if it doesn't go so well, at least we don't actually have to pay anything, it is just on a free, uh, but I'm hoping that he does well, he's 31 now Aguero, so he's just coming out of his prime, uh, but still, he's 89 overall. He's got to be good for us, surely. Good bit of possession here. Through to Lee Lucas on his first start. Uh, not quite the, the best connection with it, but it was on his left foot. But a very good first five minutes for us. Ramirez going to look for Aguero. He's moved on to the left-hand side slightly here. Going to wait to try and play a pass through to Ramirez. Can he play back to Aguero? Aguero to shoot. Oh, just not quite enough curl on it. Aguero on to Entep. He's surely got the pace to get away from them now. Back onto Aguero, and it's 1-0, 19 minutes in. Sergio Aguero scores on his debut, the first league game of the season. What a strike, what a finish, and Sergio Aguero scores. Fantastic, really, really good bit of play there. We managed to win back the ball in midfield, and from then on we just broke very well. Onto Aguero, edge of the box, bang, 1-0, fantastic. Oh, Saka with the poor touch. Aguero, can he get a second? He has done just before half time. Saka with a dreadful touch into the path of Aguero. And there was only going to be one thing happening after that. There's always going to be a goal. Fantastic from Aguero. Just a little bit of poor defensive work there from Sacco. Poor touch in the end. What a finish. Aguero's on for a hat trick. And we're not even at half time yet. And that is it for the first half. Still won the game 2 0. Really good first half performance. We look so um, in control of this match at the moment. Liverpool haven't really done that much, to be honest. Uh, we've looked really good. That little bit of extra quality as well with Aguero that we're missing out um, on last season. It's definitely working this season so far. It's only the first 45 minutes, though. Still 38 games left. Um, so, you know, we are going to try and keep a little bit realistic here, but still fantastic first half performance. We'll keep the same team, but I think changes will come maybe in about 15 minutes' time. Okay, now time for all three changes. Eric Dye, Ayanacho, and Antonio will all come on. That means Silver will move up front, and we've got Samaris, Aguero, and Entep all coming off. Aguero obviously need to preser preserve him for other games coming up. Sadly, though, doesn't quite get his hat-trick on his debut, but still a brace, decent uh, start to his career at Leeds. And uh, there's 20 minutes left to try and uh, see out the rest of the game, really. Maybe you can get a third goal. Lucas on the counter-attack from their free kick. I think he's got Galloway here in support. It's a bit of a strange one on this right-hand side. Galloway's going to look inside to Antonio, and it's a good save in the end from the goalkeeper. Nelson going to look for the ball through to Wijnaldum. It's a fantastic pass, just gets cut out. And there's five minutes left of this game. Oh, it's been passed straight to Silva. Oh, he's too late to react. Uh, obviously, I did try and shoot then, but it didn't quite let me as he nicked the ball back off me. Eric Dyer looking for the ball through to Wijnaldum. It's a good pass. Now to Antonio. Going to try and turn his defender onto Eric Dyer. Can he finish this attack off? Oh, Pfft, Bounced over the bar and it's out for a corner. 
It's going to be short to Antonio. Can he put a good ball in? It is a decent ball in. Nearly finds Kurzuma, who's looking so deadly in those positions. But that is it. We've won the game 2-0. We really didn't need to do too much more, really, in that second half. But we just looked so good, uh, so solid, and uh, overall a deserved win for us. Uh, very dominating there in terms of the shots. And possession-wise, very good as well compared to usual. Three points on the back in the first league game of the season. So that puts us already into second, just behind Newcastle. Very good start for us. And uh, you can see the teams up there as well. A little bit of a mixture of teams, to be honest. Bournemouth and Norwich in the top seven already. Leicester fourth um, so yeah it's a quite an interesting top seven that you can see uh, let's do some play development now and take a quick look at the players that we have available to us to try and train I think we will go with these five to be honest this week I'm keen to try and get some of these going up because it's kind of been a little bit slow progress with some of them uh, but our new signing I believe it might well be Yaya Torres regen has just gone up to 65 overall uh, and that is uh, Dejakpa. Dejakpa, I think I'm going to pronounce that one. Batiste is getting close to 73 overall, though, which is good. Uh, cause apparently his value is going down somehow, even though his stats are only going up. So a uh, bit of a bizarre thing, that. But let's move on now to see whether we can sign Ian Taylor, uh, that sentiment that we put in a bid for. And he has accepted the contract. Can we sign him up? Yes, we can. Lewis Cook leaves us. Um, it was a little bit tempting to play him in that last match, but to be honest, I don't really have too much time for him because um, he left Leeds in real life, which I, everyone, I think, pretty much knows uh, watching this video. But the main reason why I want to get rid of him is because he's not that good in game, and it's such a shame because obviously he was very good for Leeds last year, and uh, he's a big part of the club, and obviously everyone loved him. But he just didn't really do it for me in game, and I couldn't really afford to have that sort of player that didn't really pull his weight in match. So I've decided to bring in Ian Taylor, who looks fantastic. Six foot, 20 years old, got a good amount of pace for someone that's six foot tall as well, and he can play anywhere in midfield. So it's a fantastic option to have Ian Taylor there, another regen. Uh, this guy looks pretty good. Um, so he'll certainly be in the team at some point, uh, once we decide exactly on what is our best starting eleven based on in-game performances. Um, so he'll certainly get a game at some stage, but for now we need to move on to the next match. And is it Arsenal? It is. So uh, yeah, we've got Arsenal in the next game. Very tough match yet again. Um, as you can see here, Napoli have just signed this really good centre-back, 83 overall. Looks decent, 19 million for him. Uh, but let's have a look at the table again. Chelsea and Man United now creep in there um, after winning their games as well. Let's move on to the Arsenal match. And I think we can pretty much play this one in this episode, to be honest, because we don't really have that many transfers to do um, because I don't really need to sign anybody else. Uh, we're only getting rid of players now. And we have got uh, an email, but not one that we need to look at. We've also got this silver transfer demand shocker. Don't know, never heard of him, but we'll scout him from Norwich. Looks like he's got good stats, 30 years old. I'm not interested in buying him necessarily, but I do quite like to just keep up to date with uh, some of the players in the league that we're in. Uh, but let's move on to the game against Arsenal. Let's change around the team, and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, this is the team that I've gone with. Quite a few changes. I've decided to keep the uh, the same defence, just to keep it nice and settled. We've got Eric Dyer, who comes into midfield, who looked really good when he came off the bench. So I've decided to reward him by uh, playing him in this match. Taylor uh, also starts against Arsenal. Thought I'd give him a go. Lucas is the only one there that remains in midfield. Iñacho starts on the left-hand side of centre attack in mid. Manning on the right-hand side with Aguero up front, of course. That's the bench I've gone with. That means Silver drops down to the bench. Samaras drops out the squad completely. Um, after having an okay game, I mean, it wasn't fantastic, but I'm just deciding to rotate a couple of players uh, to make sure I've tried everyone out. Let's see how we get on against Arsenal. Another tough match, but we've proven against Liverpool that we can win these sort of games. Let's see whether we can get ourselves another three points. Here we go. This time at home against Arsenal. Very tough match. Obviously a very passing sort of side, so we might struggle to get hold of the ball in this game. Uh, but we need to make sure that when we do get hold of the ball, we make the most of it and try and score, obviously with Aguero, our most uh, quality player, that high quality player that we've got in this team. So we need to make use of him in this match. Hopefully we can do that. And that's a poor challenge to kick things off. It's going to be a yellow card already. Oh, it's ball through. Oh, pfft. off the bar. What an attack that was from Arsenal. It's out for a corner. Wasn't expecting that. That came out of nowhere a little bit. And it smacks the bar. We've got away with that one, definitely. Uh, could well be 1-0 down here against Arsenal. And uh, that is collected brilliantly by Keane. Let's try and deliver that one out if we can. Not the greatest throw, but I suppose there wasn't too many other options. And uh, we are going to now just try and settle things down a little bit. Aguero through to Mane. Finally, we've managed to get on the attack. Can we put a good ball in there with Mane? Iñacho's in there, but it doesn't really get too far. I don't think we're going to be able to 
get anywhere with those sort of crosses in. We might just well have to pass it around the box a little bit here because we're really struggling to try and break Arsenal down. They just look very strong, too strong for us. I actually with the shot there. And as of the first half, still drawing the game nil-nil. Um, Arsenal definitely being a different sort of opposition uh, to what we used to. Such quick passing. I'll be interested to see how much we're getting thrashed on the possession. Uh, in fact, not as badly as I thought. Okay, that's not too bad uh, looking at it like that. But it seems I'm getting completely dominated, to be honest. Um, the main issue has been that we've not managed to get the ball to Aguero. He's barely touched the ball. Uh, certainly hasn't had a shot that I can remember anyway. Um, so we really need to start improving that. We need to start getting on the ball a bit more. Um, because he's obviously the guy who can make things happen in front of goal. Uh, we just need to make sure we can create some chances. They just look so strong defensively. Uh, they have looked quite difficult to break down that first half. Okay, we're getting seriously overrun here. So we're going to make all three changes. Ramirez, Antonio and Entep will all come on. Taylor, Mane and Iacho will all come off. Let's hope that that works. About 30 minutes left to try and get a goal. Um, but at the moment, we just seem to be really struggling against an Arsenal side. that are just passing it around so quickly for us. Aguero. Gonna look for Antonio. Oh, straight at Chesney. Didn't really challenge him in the end, and it's gonna go out for a corner. Let's take it short. Entep's gonna try and put one in. Can we find anyone in there? No, it's punched away by Chesney again. And uh, Aguero there going for the shot. Didn't really mean to do that. I was trying to do a fake shot. Galloway gonna look for Aguero. Come on, we're starting to play quite well now, but he loses out to the defender. Uh, in the last sort of 15 minutes, we've looked quite good. Uh, we actually deserve to have some sort of uh, chance for a goal. And at the moment, Arsenal on the attack. And uh, you watch, they'll go and score here as well, just as we start to play well. They've got themselves uh, a corner, and uh, we are into the dying stages of the match. This will be probably the last chance. They've brought on a centre-back, bizarre thing to do. Uh, but it won't be if he scores from here. And it's blocked, so let's clear that one. Try and get it out. <sighs> Galloway loses the header. Oh no, it's onto the edge of the box. Ozil, good save from Keane. Oh my days. Looks more like Rob Green than Keane from that one. Uh, but anyway, that is it for the game. We've drawn it uh, nil nil. I mean, we could have lost it. We could have also won it. You know, I think it's a fair result in the end. Um, obviously, no goals somehow. I, I don't really know how we managed that. Um, it definitely looks like we could have got one. Same with Arsenal though as well. They could have got a couple, uh, but somehow they've managed to uh, stay out. And yeah, we've basically got ourselves a point there. We're still undefeated. We've had two tough games. So um, really coming away with four points from those uh, two matches is quite good. Uh, especially with them being Liverpool and Arsenal. You know, they're decent sides that will be fighting at the top of the league. So that is pretty much it for this episode. Uh, I'm quickly going to do some player development and then I'll probably end it here. Um, let's go ahead with these same five players. I'm desperate to try and get Rossetti going up because he's not gone up in ages. Uh, and again, doesn't really seem to make it too much progress. But Gordon and Dockel, I think I pronounced the other one, they've both gone up, uh, which is fantastic as far as Batiste. What are you doing? What are you playing at? Just go up to 73 overall. You've been there ages now. So that is it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If we could go ahead and try and hit 20 likes on this video, that would be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. That would be absolutely fantastic. That is it for today's episode. Tomorrow will be a Spurs episode, and uh, we'll see how we get on in that. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.